you would like to rip your CDs to a PC so you can play them on your computer or phone. Maybe you want to back up your CDs or there are just certain songs you want to copy off your CDs. You don't need to install any extra software on your computer. You already have a program in Windows 10 that does a great job of ripping CDs. That is Windows Media Player. Let's take a look at how you can use Windows Media Player to easily rip or rather copy your CDs. Hi, Dennis Ray here. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Could you be mine? Won't you be my subscriber? Please like and comment below, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Thank you. First, where to find Windows Media Player. And by the way, this is the classic Windows menu that can be put on Windows with Open Shell, a program I did a video about, and I'll put a link in the description below. First you go to Windows Accessories, and then down to Windows Media Player, and that's where you open it. Or in the regular Windows 10 menu, you just scroll down to Windows Accessories, and there it is. Windows Media Player is open. I have my CD in the drive. The music on it is from the YouTube Audio Library. A word of advice to YouTube creators, if you do videos like this, always use music that is not copyrighted like the music from the YouTube Library. That's so YouTube doesn't hit your video with a copyright violation. Otherwise, the views on your video will not count to the total views for your channel. And that can be a bummer. First thing we want to look at is settings. Now there are two ways of looking at settings. Uh, the first way is to go to the this toolbar and if we right click on it, go down to tools, down to options, click on that, and then we hit the rip music tab. There we have some settings we can take a look at. But uh, we'll look at this again in a little while. Then there's the most obvious place for settings, RIP settings. You can click that, RIP Unknown Album. There's no information since the songs are from the YouTube library. Format, there's a number of different choices there. I'm going to choose MP3. Audio quality, you have a choice from 128 to 320. Uh, I'm going to choose 192, which is good quality, but higher the quality, the bigger the file. Rip CD automatically. Eh, I'm not going to choose that. You can if you want to. Eject CD after ripping. Eh, I'm not going to choose that right now. More options, and this brings us to the options that we saw before in the RIP Music tab. And here we have where you want the RIP Music to go to, which file. I have uh, in the Downloads file selected, but you can change that with that. Uh, you can change the file name if you want to. Format, you can change it there if you want to. Rip CD automatically. Yeah. Eject CD. Yeah. Change the audio quality. Yeah. Okay. Go back to that. And help with rip. <clears throat> okay. And then we can rip all the tracks if you want to, if this is selected on the top, or we can unselect that and then choose which tracks we want to rip. If we want to rip only certain ones, like I want to, oh, say number one and number five. Okay, and then hit rip CD. 
and it starts. Now we'll come back to this when it's done. Okay, it's done. And in my case, uh, my CD does not have any information about the tracks, artists, or album because, well, because uh, tracks are from the YouTube library. But if I had a commercial CD and it would have the information about the artist and album, it wouldn't have this little note, but I'll hit OK. And now we can check out the rip music and see how it sounds. You know, I thought that sounded pretty good. So that's how to use Windows Media Player to rip or rather copy music from CDs. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. If you click my name below, you can see other videos I've done and may be of interest to you. See ya.